so amazing. After 20 years, how can we see something we haven't seen on this stage? This is something we have never seen on this yeah. stage. Yeah. Robot dogs are getting too good, which is bad. When Boston Dynamics Spot showed up on America's Got Talent, most people laughed, clapped, and filmed it. But not everyone saw the warning signs. For me, the moment we start celebrating autonomous machines performing for us, we normalize them. And now, companies in China, Switzerland, and the US are pushing these dog-like machines into combat zones and urban patrols. But what happens when these AI-powered dogs stop dancing and start chasing? On this season of America's Got Talent, Boston Dynamics kicked off the stage with a bang. Five of their four-legged wonders, Spot Robot Dogs, marched out to a roaring crowd on June 10th, 2025. But if you know anything about robotics, you know these five were not like the average robot dog. No sir, they come gliding in perfectly in sync, moving to Queen's Don't Stop Me Now, and even pretending to lip-sync Freddie Mercury with mechanical grace. But then, plot twist, one of the five takes a grand nap mid-dance, right in the back row. The lights flicker, the music stalls, and for a brief second, our mechanical buddy seems gone. But then magic happens. Programming kicks in, and the other four seamlessly adjust their choreography on the fly, because Boston Dynamics builds in backup routines just for this kind of drama. The fainted robot gets a quick reboot and rejoins the finale, standing tall as the crowd erupts into applause. That moment, the robot collapses. Others adapt. The robot rises again, earns them four emphatic yes votes from the judges, guaranteeing another round. Simon Cowell even admits, it was weirdly better that one of them died, because it showed how difficult this was. Ouch, but also kind of high praise? Hard to argue when it's the world's first dog-like robot dying on national TV. And the audience? They go berserk. People are on their feet, jaws dropped, cheering so loud you'd think they'd just witnessed a halftime show rather than a robot dance routine. The whole thing took more than just flashy moves. Boston Dynamics used their custom choreographer software, a drag-and-drop interface, precisely scripted steps, so each spot's joint, tilt, and turn was pre-planned down to the millisecond. And while robots don't improvise, they can't. Their repeatability is what makes routines like this so captivating. And precisely because of this, other companies are working on their own robot dogs. A challenger is stepping up next to Boston Dynamics' famous spot. Priced from a jaw-dropping $1,600 for the GoTo Airbase model, complete with LiDAR and camera, it's practically giving Spot a run for its money. Want a bit more power? GoTo Pro boosts speed and smarts for about $2,800 with extra payload and side-follow tech. Now, about its looks and build, this metal puppy stands roughly 70 centimeters long, 31 centimeters wide, and 40 centimeters tall. He packs a punch at around 15 kilograms, including battery. It's built tough from aluminum alloy and engineering plastic, so it's not just a fancy showpiece, it's tougher than your average nylon chew toy. Battery-wise, the Go2 rocks an 8,000 mAh standard battery that runs for about 1 to 2 hours. If you decide to go all-in with the optional 15,000 mAh pack, that roam time stretches to 4 hours. That's prime real estate for weekend adventures, or for pranking your friends by making them think your dog is low on treats. But speed is where this little guy sniffs the competition. Air cruises at around 2.5 meters per second, roughly 9 kilometers per hour, while the Pro model hits 3.5 meters per second and peak bursts even flirt with 5 meters per second. That's speedier than your average jogger and just behind a husky. But it's not just speed, this pooch is smart too. It's armed with 4D ultra-wide LiDAR, HD wide-angle camera, foot force sensors, and an 8-core CPU that's smarter than some of us on a Monday morning. You can program it via a drag-and-drop graphical app, and if you cough up for the Pro version, it'll even jog next to you using the SideFollow ISS 2.0 system. So yeah, you don't even have to hold the leash. Got playful ambitions, flips, jumps, pounces? Go to can do it all, though backflips are still pro EDU exclusive, sorry, not sorry. And if anyone questions your motives, throw out the payload stat, 7 to 8 kilograms useful load, maxing near 12 kilograms. You want someone hauling your bag, a camera rig, or your pizza. Go to's perfect for it, and so is any mal. The Swiss powerhouse, Anybotics, 
developed a less cute pet and more rugged industrial beast. Picture a four-legged robot weighing in at about 50 kilograms, that's around 110 pounds, or 55.7 kilograms if you load it up with inspection gear, measuring roughly 93 centimeters long, 53 centimeters wide, and 89 centimeters tall standing, or just 47 centimeters when it's chilling on the ground. Compared to a Chihuahua, it's like going from pocket size to full Mastiff. With an IP67 rating, she laughs off water, dust, waltzes through puddles, and can climb slopes up to 30 degrees and step up 30 centimeters high, which is like a mountain goat on four wheels. She can trot at 1.3 meters per second. That's nearly 4.7 kilometers per hour. Want slower? You can set her pace to a chill 0.75 meters per second for longer battery life. Speaking of juice, any mal's swappable Lion battery, around 932 watt hours, powers 90 to 120 minutes of exploration, which is equal to 2 kilometers on a full charge or about 1.2 kilometers during a typical mission. Recharging back to 70% only takes about 100 minutes, full charge in 3 hours. Think of it as your very own Roomba on steroids. What's more, Animal has super senses, a 360-degree LiDAR scanning up to 100 meters away, six depth cameras for close-in awareness, plus pan-tilt optical and thermal cams that zoom up to 20 times, capturing everything in 4K or thermal data from negative 40 degrees Celsius to plus 550 degrees Celsius. There's even an ultrasonic microphone to hear sounds humans can't, and a 3,790 lumen spotlight in case the power goes out. Compute-wise, Animal carries two Intel Core i7 CPUs with 8GB RAM each, plus dual 240GB SSDs, turning it into a walking mini data center. Its AI-driven autonomy is no gimmick. Guide it once through a complex factory, and it remembers the map. Animal's role, factory safety, oil rig inspections, chemical plants, mines, you name it. Maybe with this rugged look, Animal could become a military dog, literally, just like Vision 60 is. The US military has a robot dog built like a battle-tested ranger, stomping through mud, climbing stairs, and bristling with tech. He comes from Ghost Robotics, and his name is Vision 60 QUGV. This mid-sized robot dog weighs about 51 kilograms, 112 pounds, dry, and stands roughly 95 centimeters long by 57 centimeters wide and 68 centimeters tall when on patrol. Its IP67 rating means it laughs off dust and can even belly flop into a meter of water for half an hour without blinking. Cruising speed is no joke, with a standard walk being 0.9 meters per second, 2 miles per hour, and a fast walk jacking up to 1.2 meters per second. Plus, it can even sprint up to 2.4 meters per second, 4.9 miles per hour, with even faster bursts in the works. On a full battery, that's about 10 kilometers of roaming, or 3.15 hours of non-stop walking, with a standby time topping 21 hours with sensors awake. Vision 60 also has a built-in sense system, stereo cameras, TOF sensors, 360-degree LiDAR, and onboard NVIDIA, Xavier Compute for map making, obstacle avoidance, and autonomy. It even has a blind mode, so if mud or glare covers its cameras, it can still feel its way through terrain and self-right from flips or falls. And it can haul up to 10 kilograms of extra gear. And Xiaomi is doing the same thing, with a lot more stylish design. If you told someone to turn a slick smartphone into a robot dog, you'd get Xiaomi's CyberDog, but he's going to be just as vicious as Vision 60. Weighing about 14 kilograms, around 31 pounds, it's compact enough to navigate tight hallways, but sturdy enough for tough spaces. The CyberDog runs at nearly 11.5 kilometers per hour, or about 7.1 miles per hour which is fast enough to keep pace when you're hustling through an office or slipping through debris on a job site or you're in a combat zone. Under the hood is NVIDIA's Jetson Xavier NX supercomputer on four legs, pumping out 21 tops, true AI muscle for obstacle avoidance, mapping, object and face tracking, even voice commands, and it's packing 128 gigabytes of SSD storage to boot. The robot's built with 11 to 19 sensors, Intel RealSense depth cam, fisheye lens, ultrasonic modules, GPS, microphones, touch sensors, the works for a workspace watchdog or a combat recon tool.
tool. Need it to fetch gear or carry tools? It can carry up to 3 kilograms, 6.6 .6 pounds. Also, the battery life runs about an hour per charge, and a full recharge takes around 4 hours, enough to last a patrol or a long work shift. The little guy can do backflips, rolls, even stand on hind legs. So, yes, office morale skyrockets during demo time. Sure, its voice commands and app are mostly in Chinese today, and only select Xiaomi phones work right now. But this is early bird tech opening up serious possibilities. Do you think they should have let dogs perform on a human talent show? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and are fascinated by stories like this, don't forget to smash that like and follow button. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.